Think about the time you wasn't saved and somebody saved you. You should have been dead, should have been shot, should have overdosed on crack, should have been this, should have been that. Left the party just a few minutes early before they started shooting. Uh, all kind of stuff should have went down in your life, but yet God prolonged the time. You didn't want to go to church, didn't want to hear the preacher, didn't want to hear Big Mama and all of that stuff, but you had to hear her. And God kept prolonging the time. And then one day you saw the light. One day you heard him. One day you opened up your mouth and said, Father, I stretch my hands to thee no other help I know and you confess them and got to know them for yourself then you look back over your life and you found out that the same God that saved you was walking with you a long time waiting on you to call upon his name he was waiting on you waiting on you waiting on you waiting on you you've been walking with supernatural before you got supernatural now if that God will walk with you when you wasn't saved what you think that God will do when you are saved pick you up turn you around play your feet up He's supernatural. He's supernatural. Already had your name written. Already had angels looking out over you. Before you even heard his name, he knew your name. Somebody was pleading the blood over you when you couldn't plead it on yourself. Somebody was on their knees for you when you wouldn't bow. While you was at the club bumping and grinding, somebody was on their knees praying and crying. God kept you. I said God kept you. And he kept you for you not to be in bondage, but to 